Hello, this is Crypto Neptune, and I'm on to do a price prediction for Casper Network going into the next bull run and kind of talk about some catalysts that are help with Casper's price appreciation. Remember, nothing I say is financial advice, and you should always do your own research. And thank you to those who continue to support the channel. It definitely means a lot. So with Casper, we want to look at the current price of Casper. As you can see, Casper is sitting at four cents. So that is the price of Casper at the moment. And if we look at Casper, like over the last year, you know, it's been four cents and then kind of peaked at six cents. And it's just been kind of ranging between, you know, that three and six cents price point waiting to kind of propel you know, to that next level, right? That's kind of where we're looking at with Casper. And if we go over to CoinGecko, kind of looking at Casper, as you can see, it's listed on MEXC, BitGet, Gate.io is listed on, it's listed on KuCoin, it's listed on Crypto.com, but not here in the United States. I believe it's overseas in which this is listed. So that takes out a huge chunk of revenue, right? So if it could be listed on crypto.com, but in the U.S., then that would definitely help with some adoption of, you know, Casper. But uh, not only that, it's not on any other major exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, Gemini, uh, Kraken, right? If it can get on more, you know, maybe centralized exchanges, that would help take Casper to the next level, right? With Casper, what's going to help with the price appreciation also with Casper is Casper just announced a, they have essentially their own wallet now. So you can essentially download the Casper wallet on Google Play or Apple Store and, you know, buy Casper within the wallet. So kind of the ease of use, the ease of access to get access to Casper would definitely help you know, during the next bull run with some of that price appreciation, right? So smart on them to kind of have their own Casper wallet now. And as you can see, you know, this is kind of how it looks. And moving over to, you know, what else is going to help Casper kind of get to that, you know, that next level. So we're going to watch a short video. It's going to kind of talk about enterprises and how enterprises and businesses can onboard onto Casper. So let's take a quick look. I'm Meta Parlikar, co-founder of Casper and the chief technology officer at Casper Labs. I spent much of my career in professional enterprises like Adobe and Avalara, where I led developer teams and oversaw major technology decisions. What does a blockchain for business mean? Well, first and foremost, a blockchain has to interoperate with legacy technology, basically everything that's been built before, from developer workflows to security requirements. We designed the Casper technology to work with existing infrastructure and the existing organization. So instead of having an ivory tower of blockchain experts, organizations can onboard all of their developers. Flexibility is also essential for organizations. I often say to enterprise customers, history is immutable, but the future is unwritten. And having upgradable smart contracts gives them that flexibility. Yeah, so that's a great video there, kind of talking about with Casper Network and essentially allowing an enterprise to come onto Casper Network use their legacy type service as it sees fit today, but then having those customizable contracts that can help upgrade and take the company to the next level. So you can essentially onboard your business as it is today and then upgrade on the blockchain technology as you need to in the future with your company. So where is Casper planning to attack? Artificial intelligence. They're planning to, you know, tap into some artificial intelligence here. And it says 
you know, 64% of businesses believe that artificial intelligence will help increase their overall productivity, right? So Casper believes that they can help achieve businesses do that. Financial services is another segment they're looking to tap into. 80% of financial services firms worldwide are already investing in blockchain technology. So pretty much, you know, if you're not first, you're last, right? And it says blockchain technology will enable banks to save up to $27 billion on cross-border settlement transactions by 2023. So again, Casper attempts to solve a need, help businesses save money with cross-border payments. And it says $27 billion. Moving securities to blockchain environments can save up to $24 billion annually in global trade processing costs, right? So moving securities also onto blockchain technology would be a game changer. And Casper has pretty much set themselves up for success and kind of ease of use for their customers, right? And retail says $18 billion annual retail revenue loss to cart abandonment, right? So they're looking to... Again, solve another need by essentially decreasing that cart abandonment and making more sales within that e-commerce platform. So that's something that they're planning to achieve. Onboarding the government. You know, the government is kind of slow with regards to technology. And it says here, 61% of public sector leaders believe that their governments are not keeping pace with the private sector's adoption of modern technology. Right. And then, as you know, entertainment and gaming is huge. And it says four point three seven billion. The blockchain in the entertainment and gaming market is projected to reach four point three billion by 2026. Right. So they want to tap into that gaming and they believe that they're ready to scale now. And then here, manufacturing and supply chain says 13% of companies that report having full visibility into their supply chains resulting in billions of dollars in annual loss due to efficiencies. So they want visibility into supply chains to kind of help reduce losses. And this says 45%, I'm sorry, minus 45%. Organizations will realize losses were equivalent to up to 45% of their annual profit due to supply chain disruptions, right? So with Casper, with their blockchain technology, they're looking to essentially solve supply chain issues, right? If they can do like all of these different features, that's going to onboard a ton of volume because that's going to be a lot of usage on the blockchain and a lot of uses on the Casper token if that essentially makes sense. And then, you know, kind of real quick, you know, <clears throat> IP, we or IP, we learn more about how we helped IP, we acquire over 300 new clients, right? So they're already helping businesses scale to the next level. Chengdu, chain. So smart cities are building on Casper, learn how, Casper Labs created an open permission-based blockchain network for the city of Chengdu, China. So if you can quickly onboard like whole cities and kind of have like smart cities, that is kind of like the future, right? If they can openly promote this and have like essentially just smart cities worldwide, this could definitely take Casper to the next level as a layer one solution which is fast and scalable and they're already early on show, showing results so with casper we're gonna do let's see let's first do let's try to do ave yeah, let's try to do Ave. So with Ave, you know, kind of looking at that 
at the if if it has a market so if it essentially as it stands right now had a 1.4 billion dollar market cap that would put casper at 12 cents that is definitely achievable for ave and then at the all-time high of a 7.9 billion dollar market cap for ave if casper was to have the same market cap that would put casper at 68 cents again definitely achievable with ave and kind of looking at let's go back to link looking at chain link at the current price now and at that 7.7 .7 billion dollar market cap that would put casper at 66 cents so definitely achievable there and if it were to get to a $22 billion market cap during the bull run for Casper, it would sit at $1.89, right? So for me, the price prediction for Casper Network would be between that $1.89 range to $2 range on the high end, right? So I would say $2 would be the price prediction that I'm having for Casper, a given, this is given like all the different factors I suggested being listed on centralized exchanges people actively using the casper wallet to buy casper casper being used in different sectors like entertainment and gaming like government like retail like financial services you know like all those different sectors that we talked about and then onboarding like whole cities whole smart whole smart cities you know, that's kind of the future of technology. That's, you know, kind of scary to think about, but fun to think about at the same time. Imagine just living in a smart city. You know, we're, we're slowly but surely integrating, you know, those technologies in businesses, in our homes, but having the whole city kind of on a blockchain would be kind of next level. And Casper is looking to achieve that. Yeah, so for my price prediction, as I mentioned, I would say like right around that $2 range, right? 189 on the low end during the bull run for Casper, but who knows what these things, right? Again, not financial advice. Casper could potentially slightly underperform this price target, or it could exceed expectations and be a blockchain that just kind of excels, right? Let's here let me scroll up does this show no it doesn't show the rank here um, i know that casper kind of had went into the top was hovering right around that top 100 kind of slipped into the top 100 100 like right around 99 but you know kind of been kind of hovering between that mark that point so Oh, here it is at the top, 110, right? So it's at 110 right now. So definitely look for a Casper to slip back into that top 100 and kind of go there during the next bull run, right? So people, you know, they're kind of like, oh, well, it, the price has been three to six cents for a while. Like a, with a lot of these projects, we've seen it in the past where they have the infrastructure in place. It's just a matter of getting that adoption and it just takes time. We've seen that with like the layer one, the layer two solution in Matic. We saw that for like back in the day. We saw that when it just didn't move and then all of a sudden it started moving. So hopefully with this layer one solution, it kind of does the same thing. All right, for me, for Casper, that is essentially it on my Casper price prediction. Thanks for listening and thanks for stopping by.